Joining us now live is Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, who, of course, is chair of the Senate Budget Committee. Senator, it's a real pleasure to have you with us tonight. Thanks for making time to be here. My pleasure. Covering this from the outside, it has felt like sort of a chronicle of a death foretold because it has felt like Senator Manchin has been sort of feeding the feeding the, the prospect that this would pass and that it, he, he could get to yes just enough to keep the attention on himself, frankly. And I don't mean to speak derogatorily of him in, ter in personal terms, but it has felt like he's just enjoyed all the attention. He's enjoyed being asked every day. He's enjoyed all of the, um, you know, sort of tea leaf reading about his feelings. I don't know how you plan to get around that, but I also don't know how putting him on the line and making him vote for it. I'm sure he's going to vote no if it comes up to the floor in January. I don't know how that will move him either. Well, it's, you know, this is not only Mr. Manchin and it's not only these policies which are so important to working families. It is about the Democratic Party trying to restore faith with the American people that they actually stand for something. What has been really painful about this whole process to my mind, Rachel, it's not only the dragging on of these so-called negotiations. It is that the American people don't know where we are at. Do we have the guts to take on the drug companies who are spending over $300 million in lobbying right now? Is that the Democratic Party have the guts to take on the private insurance company who does not do not want us to expand Medicare to cover dental, hearing and eyeglasses? Do we have the courage to do what the scientists are telling us has to be done and transform our energy system away from fossil fuel? So the issue is not just Mr. Manchin. I mean, it would be really, really, really sad, and someone who worked really hard on this, if we were not successful. But it would be even sad if the American people said, these people stand for nothing. Not only can't mm. they get anything done, they don't believe in anything. They don't have the guts to take on the powerful special interest. And I would prefer us to be able to say, look, we tried. And we had all of the Republicans bought off by the big money interest. We had two Democrats who couldn't stand with us. Give us more Democrats, and in the first week of a new Congress, we will pass this. That's better to me than just to be negotiating forever and standing for nothing. 